Hello, ladies, gents, and hilariously. Hilariously is the word that came out of my mouth, and we're sticking with it. Hilariously exploding balls of fire. Few um, mishaps happening lately in the daily challenge. Just getting used to failure. You know, trying to get it deep into my brain socket. So that way, I, whenever I actually lose... In 7.38, I mean, I mean, yes, 7.38, it, it doesn't face me one bit. Indeed, there was a comment saying, I cannot unsee the Nicolas Cage face on the cat being rescued. I now see it, and I will never unsee it. Thank you so much for that. You have completely ruined little Vigo for me. Now all I see is Nicolas Cage going, Oh, really? And, uh... Just being a general jerk-off. Thanks a lot for that. I appreciate it. Well, there's some mole coming for me. We need to watch out for it. There was also a comment saying you need to give your ultimate opinion on moles. What is what is your actual opinion on the moles? Moles are great. I love to stump their heads. I appreciate it when they explode in a shower of gore. And I hate them with every fiber of my being. And that is all I have to say about that. It's not really... Like, I used to really loathe them. They're just not that big a deal anymore. Let me put you in a spot where you will not give me multiple items. I get rid of all this nonsense. Do, I do not want a multiple choice question here. I want it to be very, very clear. The item that I'm stealing from your anus. My my man. There you go. Well done. Quickly get the hell away from his ability to smash my butthole. And we carry on with life. Don't worry, he is forever stuck over there. Why? 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 Why why will you do things like this? Are you are you dumb? <laughs> are you perhaps half brained imbecile? The answer is yes, obviously. Put a bomb there. It's all right. It just makes things more exciting is all. Murder you real good. We throw up a rope. There's the mole trying to prove himself the absolute disgusting nuisance that he is. We use more bombs to get through places. In fact, I should have put this bomb under the turkey's butthole to be able to get ourselves a little bit more health. Kali was at the top, I remember. But um, we also have a... Angry shopkeeper. Let me do one of these. Definitely the point of health is 100% worth it. There you go. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I am so annoyed right now. Why does everything hate me? I also have a shotgun. I should have been using shotgun jumps. Okay, there's dog. Only have two ropes though, so we actually had to put a little bit of work in rescuing this dog without using bombs I mean without using ropes it's pretty upsetting but we're gonna make it do I have enough time to get all the way up to Cali? I don't know if I want to even do that he's safe right there, alright, alright uh, I don't think I have enough time, and also there is a maniac that can easily murder me, and also I only have two points of health, so I'm going to be a filthy coward. That's me, being a garbage player, not maximizing his opportunities for success, instead just eating ass in order to make it to another level. Absolutely pathetic, I feel... Very inadequate, it's terrible. Uh, if you were in tenter hooks thinking about Blargo, what about your uh, back rhomboid problem that you were having yesterday? Give us an update on that. I, I really, my life depends on knowing about your health moment to moment. Problem went away like magic. It was, it's uncanny sometimes. It did screw me over the entire day. I took a muscle relaxer and just slept for six hours. It was sad. I hate the fact that I spent one of my precious... 
I have no words. I have no words. I have no excuse. I am just a puppet of fate. <laughs> I'm incapable of looking two steps ahead. Man, this man needs to get get away from my face. Eh? Son of a bitch. That is triggered, right? There is an arrow right there. There you go. All right. Ooh. <laughs> so good, so good. Go down, you piece of trash. I must have your stuff. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> I have a ladder to get up here. All right, it's all good. Everything's fine. Now we have a few extra ropes. So I am feeling okay doing one of these so we can get the shopkeeper over to the other side. Maybe he'll go down there and murder his, his uh, compatriot. There's no opening here, huh? I was hoping there would be. You piece of scum, you garbage gobbler. You trash monger. Mm. It's really not trivial. It's not a trivial answer to figure out what to do about these people. I think a key may be getting him stuck into that cobweb. <laughs> That's the problem with... Like, the problem I always run into is... Tunnel visioning. It's always the same. Question. Do, does putting a bomb there piss him off? Probably does, right? And now... I am stuck with angry shopkeepers forever. We're leaving. It's fine. Yeah, I am not forgiven, but at least this time I know why. Because I put a bomb in the shop... Taking my offenses from just being present to pure vandalism. Son of a whore! You piece of garbage! <laughs> Once again, just tunnel visioning. I am slightly desperate for a skeleton key I can use to free Van Horse's face. It's alright, there's a little uh, a pile of chicken in this scumbag's groin. Alright, buddy, just roll that way so I can just shotgun you in the butt. You dead? No, there you go. Give me that good stuff. And of course, we're going to open... Yeah! That crate, this pleases me. Rhomboid muscle pain. It's not the first time I get it, but boy, was it the absolute worst of my life. It was, you know, one of those crippling pains that allows you to think about nothing else. I have done recordings with back pain before. Oh, I don't really want to to absolutely murder this weirdo. Here we are, just trying to make things work. Usually this works. Don't think about it too much. Just jump. Please, get me out of here. I didn't want to stomp him. Careful about uh, reflecting bullets. I have died in the past due to reflecting bullets. All right, there's nothing over here. I guess we're descending this way. That would be kind of silly. Let's find the spot where it's actually not a point of damage. I have no idea what's happening to them. And the, the whittling down of my anus is constant and incredibly annoying. Some days you just don't got it. Some days you don't got it. All these damn skeletons are all coming back to life. Damn necromancer. Had a walkabout in the entirety of this damn land. Made me so damn miserable. All of these filthy skeletons. Going back to life. Yeah. Kali does not want to be back anymore because uh, I shunned her. I ignore her once. What is this <laughs> disgusting chimera? This fusion of bat and imp. Well, we're doing one of these. Get this piece of trash out of here so I can put a bomb over here. Alert the shopkeeper filth to my presence. And hopefully we can get him out of my face. What a nightmare of... Uh, if I do one of that, is he going to do it? 
But that should do it. That should go straight to the exit. Alright, get me out. It's alright, everything's fine. We have been assaulting shopkeepers in a very casual manner. Ooh. Very casual manner. They will still forgive me eventually. Don't worry about it. I am not worried about it. Why are you worry about it? Just don't look at the timestamp. It's like, I've been told. You need to put three hours of of darkness at the end of all these videos so it doesn't spoil your hilarious yet inevitable death. Don't look at the timestamp. Stop looking at the time. How many how long it took? This is an exercise in self-control. Is the thing. I am testing you. Whenever I post one of these daily challenges, I am testing you not to spoil yourself away from the hilarity that will ensue. Bruh, what is this boring challenge? What is this? There is no pockets with chest. It's all just garbage all over the place. It's, it pisses me off. <laughs> it's just another ass seed is what I'm saying. Actually, it hasn't been that bad. Nothing to get around is not very good in the get around department. But, you know, 25 bombs with with jizz is pretty damn great i'll take it i'll take it any day of the week even though we have no real resources other than that uh, this is awful and i hate it but it's all right because we can trigger that and carry on down the line i think i want a rope right here i think i want to piss you off oh come on huh I mean, I want you to do your thing. Do I want to explore the rest of the level? Nah. Probably there's nothing of worth in it, right? Of course, it's the dark level. It couldn't be any other way. If I drop the bow, it should be okay. I do need a little bit of torch action. With the Ujarai, you don't really need it. So I should just drop it. Give me that. Give me that. Bow. Anyway, the, the drills should be in this one. We're in 2-3. Let's wait this out. Huh? Huh? What a nightmare. <laughs> I hate everything about it. Oh, the dark levels, man. Always coming to haunt me. At least we have five points of health, despite my best efforts to bask in incompetence. We have five points of health. Don't tell me I missed the drill in a previous level. That would be so humiliating. I don't see the second arrow. There would be a second arrow if the deep level was in this one, right? What the hell kind of bottom of the level is this? This is a nightmare. <laughs> Why is everything so difficult? I'm just trying to get to the daily challenge. This guy is just stuck in the absolute worst place. You maniac, what are you even doing? I'm so upset. I'm so freaking upset right now. Let's put a bomb, maybe make ourselves a new path. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, you sure are. <laughs> what a piece of filth scum. He's just forever stuck there in a, in a loop of idiocy. Skitty. All right, he actually got unstuck. How about you drop into the lava, you scum lord? Holy crap. <laughs> what, a, what an adamant imbecile. I hate him. Give me that point of health. Give it to me. All right, we are, we're at the bottom. Please don't tell me that I completely spaced out the drill in one of these levels. I, my heart could not take it. There's the drill. All right, it's all good. <laughs> Let me go there equipped with a with a whip. Get wrecked. Ah! Ah! Drop. You fiery filth. Give me that money. Give me that money. 
going down. Just watch that video of this very obvious zoomer. Zoomer YouTuber. It's like seven memes per second. You can always tell that it's the zoomers doing that. You know, we have plenty of bombs. Let's blow up our way to, to the bottom here. And hope that this idol never gets disturbed. Or there will be a torrent of lava coming down on my ass. Boop! <laughs> alright, alright. It didn't drop on my head, so we are good. Use, pl uh, use uh, plan B. Use plan B right now. The video was all about complaining about smelly people. Just smelly, nasty-ass people. Mostly in public in the workforce. Probably she is talking about school because she sounds very young. But boy, do I have an individual for you. Well, first, it's kind of sad. When you've been in a place long enough, you can recognize who just took a shit by the smell of their gut flora. It is sad, it is awful, it is disgusting. The fact that I can tell them apart, but I can, and I hate to have that knowledge. I can go into the damn bathroom and take a whiff and say, well, that son of a bitch took another shit on the clock. Because, man, can I recognize that smell. I hate everything about this, by the way. We're going to wait for the next blob to come down. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, though. So we better uh, make a decision here. Don't hurt me. I am watching you, you fireman. <sighs> down we go. All right. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, but he's not my main complaint. After all, it is the bathroom. And even though he does seem to make a point to save his bowels for the on-the-clock take a dump, don't really blame him. It uh, is almost a smart move. I was I wanted to arrow him in the face. It's it's a, you know objectively a smart move. How about you use the damn spray to save me from having to smell you? That would be great, but no, that is far too much to ask, obviously. My bow, my bow, my bitter, precious bow. Uh, but, you know, he is just a minor inconvenience compared to the smelly hobo. The smelly hobo, Mr. Stenchman, as I will refer to him from the, this point forward. Mr. Stenchman, he ain't no regular smelly boy. This man... He works at the front counter. He has literally been approached by actual customers. You know, the regular customers that go to the post office all the time. And being presented with a deodorant care package. Thinking maybe, maybe he can't afford deodorant. Maybe, uh, you know, we need to pull together a, little, a few coins. And that way we can get him a nice care package for him to stop smelling this bad. And... It's just outrageous. Obviously, he did not care for this care package. Did not use it. Because you know how in cartoons, old-fashioned cartoons, you can see the aroma trail behind a pie, and then the pie attracts the coyote, or maybe uh, Pierre, Pierre, what's his name? The skunk character in the old Warner Brothers movie, uh, cartoons? You can literally see the stench just by people going away from it behind this man. It is a truly atrocious experience to be anywhere. I see this guy. I preemptively hold my breath. Wherever he goes, you can tell where he's been a minute later. One day was so bad. The entire garage was just overtaken by this smell. I wish I were exaggerating. I wish I were telling you a tall story to entertain you for the Olmec fight. Absolutely not. This is 100% factual, the things that I'm telling you. I, I was just flabbergasted. I was shocked that somebody like this could even exist. I didn't realize that in the era of having deodorant 
and, you know, EC everyday showers, which actually make no difference. Like, I'm a stinky boy. I, if I, like, I will shower every day, but it doesn't matter. If I shower in the morning, I'll be stinking by noon if I don't put on the other end. And I know this, and I'm very self-conscious about it. I'm always careful to put on some freaking the other end because I know it's bad. So, having this piece of garbage stink up the place where I work and not give a crap about it, well, it kind of personally gets on my personal nerves, okay? Ooh, I was hoping to get over to the other side. Get an explosion going. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, how humiliating it would be for Olmec to kill me twice after I have disrespected him a bajillion times, putting him down for his incompetence. Please go out in a blaze of glory, you scum lord. I absolutely love it. I have a personal vendetta against this fellow who does not have the same personal values and mutual respect that I pay to my, my fellow humans. It is just outrageous that here I am, always worried like, oh shit, I'm sticking at the place. And here's this other dude who doesn't give a crap with his giant hobo beard and his absolutely ugly mug. Yes, I am. I am totally body shaming him for his genetics. I don't care. He earned it, all right? I absolutely despise him. Uh, every time I see him that is there, I walk the other way. And, you know, he is not even nice. He's kind of a jerk. Uh, he ha has a history of yelling at co-workers because he, they got on his nerves somehow. So not even workplace decorum. This guy is a loser from every standpoint, is there anything up there? I don't think I, I want to partake in anything at the top back there. I have wasted my parachute. I don't really care. Let's get out of here. It's all right. Callie will show up in this level. Don't worry about it. I, I just have her number. We have a, a pact that she is going to help me out whenever I call out her name. We have no boots of any kind, so we have to be careful about the squids. So let's go search for nice succulent flesh for her to partake in. Do I want to do this? I kind of want my money, but we are in such dire straits where items are concerned. It feels kind of silly not to. Like I have said before, and this also should make it easier to do a ghosting of her treasure trove. Please. I require, I require a freaking seven. Did I do it? Yeah, I did. I, I, I did. This is totally harsh in my mellow. What is going on here? <laughs> the, the, the dice have been loaded. You know what? I will take these specs. They are great stuff. The dice are egregiously loaded. I have been scammed to hell and back. Absolutely terrible, man. So anyway, that video, I could definitely relate to everything this this young gal was saying. I even left a comment, something I'm not prone of doing. I don't often play the YouTube game, but I did leave a comment saying I, I fully endorse the wholesale slaughter of workplace shitters. Oh, I'm done. I'm done with this. Uh, workplace shitters and walking stink balls. And I, I uh, stand by that statement. It may sound extreme to you. It may sound like a, a little too much. We have no boots. Should be able to do one of these, though. There you go. All right, we don't have a whole lot of time, but we should have plenty of time to do at least this. So let's get... Oh, this, is, this jump is doable. It's just a little tricky. Uh, there you are. Always watching out for potential things to throw me into the garbage. Get rid of this filth. Oh, save the cat. Just smack it a little bit to save it. It's all good. <laughs> it was for its own good. We need a live cat to put in Kylie's embrace. There you go. She rewards me with the exact thing I needed. She's listening. She she knows me. She knows what I need. Knows the, the yearnings of my heart. Oh, baby. Go away, you filthy piece of trash. Oh, it's the crabs that she doesn't care about. She does care about the octopi, right? 
So I could get a few extra points for that. Uh, what happened to my shotgun? I know I left it to grab the cat, but... Oh, it's over here. What the cat? There you go. There you go. Get out of here. A, pretty, a little upsetting that there was no real reward. I should have grabbed myself a few slaves. I need to get into the habit of grabbing the slaves from the... Um, b -b 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 Vlad's castle. Because you either sacrifice them or, or you can use them to carry the sword into later levels. There is no real reason not to save them. Because right now, here I am, stuck with no way of carrying the carrying the clone gun, clone gun comfortably. It's going to just be a nuisance, you know? Open. It's going to be a real nuisance to get a gronk to get it done. Of course, we're going to get it done. Get in there. We grab the torch. We do the thing. It may seem rather extreme to you unless you as well have worked in close companionship close proximity to a walking stink ball and then oh then you will have first-hand account of why these people need to be purged from the gene pool they need to get erased there is no excuse in the modern land and it kind of gives you you know there's the the I wouldn't call it a silver lining, but at least it gives you a little bit of insight. Uh, at the times before, Rome, uh, who I wonder how many men and women of Rome were slaughtered, assassinated, betrayed in some way because they stunk so bad and there was no reliable the other end option. So, well, I guess it's to to the grave with you because you stink so bad you are making me so mad why am I not keeping the sword I am a, a little dumb a little dim witted let me go through here get this absolute filth annihilated a little upsetting that I don't have a way into the I need to get in here <laughs> uh, it's important to get in here give myself the ability to murder all right, Gronk. You always grab the camera. You always annoy the crap out of me. What you got over there? What is the deal? Like, it is disproportionate. The amount of cameras that come out of that present box weird me out, man. All right, bud. Come with me. We're going to put you to sleep for 30 seconds. Can you sleep for 30 seconds? Are you capable of doing that? You piece of scum. He will sleep for 30 seconds. Don't worry about it. All right. Clone gun. Uh, we don't trust him. We're just going to leave him here. Maybe I have a spot. Ooh, this is a great spot, actually. If I put a bomb there, that should do it. He has no way out of here, right? That is very good. Locked down on that for sure. All right. Let me put this here. Because he doesn't go for the back layer. Stop. You know what? You can carry the sword. Actually, no. I don't want you to carry the sword. I want you to carry the clone gun. So let me grab this sword. This takes a little bit of work. Pow! Grab it. Well done. Don't really need you to put you to sleep, for you are now trapped forever. But, uh... Ooh, Kali is here. Complicates things a little bit, because we also want the shortcut. You know, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. I have one minute traversed. Oh, are we in this spot? This is the Lava Land, right? Yeah, the Lava Land also has, always has, the extra path. But I'm not seeing it. Is this it? This isn't it. It doesn't have the shape. What is going on today? Well, either way... I was hoping for a caveman. Oh, I need the health. We're running out of time here. Almost went through that nonsense. Uh, running out of time. Give me the Kapala quickly, quickly, quickly. I should be leaving the sword by the exit. Let's see what's down here. Does it connect is the question. 
It often does. This is a nightmare. <laughs> we probably have an extra pet. What is this? There's no NPC because I haven't saved them. Uh, don't worry about it. We don't need this sword for anything. I embrace death. If I mess it up, I embrace death. Let me let me put some thought into this. <sighs> it should be done. I wish I had my cursor. I really miss the cursor from HD so I can point things at ya while I do this. But it looks like uh, this is a good spot. Now we do one of these. Please allow me to leave this place. Wow. Very violent. There you go. We have the Kapala. We're good. The clone gun should be secured. We go through the exit. There's our friend. We don't do instant death, even though I want to. Let me just put you right there, buddy. And let's do some murder. We no longer are, require the services of this dog, so he's now dead. What you want me to say about it? I'm just a bloodthirsty psychopath. Hey ah, of course that will happen. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. There are no cats spawning from here, even though I got used to the randomizer instant murdering me here. I, um, I need to embrace the fact that that's not going to happen. It does fill me with dread. Just on reflex, son of a whore. <laughs> She's got done saying, oh, I need the services of the cat. Quite clearly I needed them. Because now, here I am stuck with this nonsense. Don't worry, Gronk, I gotcha. I gotcha. Let me uh, put you back to sleep. Uh, so, that is extremely annoying, but not a deal breaker. It's not that big a deal, having the Kapala. Serves me right, though, <laughs> being a total bloodthirsty scum lord. Uh, totally to blame on that one. So anyway, let's see if we can find... Let's see if we can find a dog slash cat slash rat to get through this. Wow. For now, though, the Yetis will do. The Yetis will do. Give me this amazing pile of blood. Very important. We are bloodthirsty nincompoops. We're gonna get it done. Very nice. Six points of health. We harvest all available blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me more enemies. <laughs> Up with you. Woo! Kaboom! <laughs> okay, there's a the dog. Need to put it through the exit, which is gonna be a, a nightmare. Because it's so far down. Just trying to find. Gloop. It smells like wet fur in here. Gloop is over the way in the corner, huh? Ooh, uh, I think he will... Oh, 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 excuse me! Son of a... <laughs> well... Uh, we have only five ropes. It's worth doing. I think... Three will do this. <laughs> what a humiliation. I didn't want to go, in, go through the inside. But where's the where's the gloop though? Over here? Where is he? Over here? What is going on? There you go. Wally crap. Actually, hey, uh, great timing, bud. <laughs> Are kind of a nuisance though. How about you don't kill yourself? That would be great. Something I've needed to do is one of these. Give me this. What a what a what an involved involved ordeal we got going on here. Let me put this here. 
You go over here. Give me the clone on where it goes. You may even remain. All right. Whatever. He is still doing the thing. I'm okay with it. We have... We gotta be careful here. Because the mad lad will absolutely try to murder me. Come on. Come on. Jump me, you evil piece of garbage. Ooh, ooh. Yes, I could have used my sword. I was afraid, okay? Don't judge me. Terribly afraid. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That was uh, upsetting in the extreme. Okay, well, let's go over to this side. Give ourselves a giant pile of blood just by throwing a bunch of yetis. And once again, I am too afraid to get anywhere close to this mega yeti. That's right, you, you don't get to, <laughs> to whip this guy. Alright, I could I guess I could have cut him to pieces, but it's fine. Okay, six points of health. There was a dog, I forget where he was. I, let's just leave the dog for later. Actually, I do have a way back up, so it should be okay. Okay, Gronk. I trust you with this incredible weapon of eight of the ages. We're going to get rid of this damn poison. Even though we are close to the humiliation, the humiliating apparition. We made it to the top. Holy crap. Get you to the bottom. Just follow the red arrow. Do not touch the ground. The floor is lava. There you go. Don't worry. Gronk's got my weapon. Hey. All right. We're good. <laughs> The sword is actually useful. Uh, let go of the sword, I command it. I I loathe you in every fiber of my being. Go to ah! <laughs> go to sleep. There you go. It's fine. Everything's fine. Ah! I could have just exploded just now. Whoa, baby. Put me down there. Ah, the concentration is required to get through this nightmarish situation. It's never anything in this one, right? 6-1 is just harmless. You just get to the exit. Uh, it's been a while because I have been suffering a series of mishaps. Don't know if you're aware of this. Uh, but I think I got this. Put you down. Is there a reason to get Nicolas Cage all the way to the exit? Probably not. If, if Kali were around, I might. And now that poison is long, no longer in my breast, I have no use for these monsters. Yeah. I love to have the sword to murder all these scum. It is so nice to come in here, cut them all to pieces. All right. Get pressed into the ground. You disgusting garbage. What is this, brother? What is going on? <laughs> what is this absolute, absolute nightmare situation we got with the, the traps? Well, I should have brought Gronk, right? It's all right. I'm not going to get instantly murdered or... Utterly destroyed. I will get utterly destroyed. Let me just play it a little smarter. Put a bomb right there. It's too much. It's just too many rotating balls of death. We're going to go in there. Look at look at this sheer number. It's just absolutely insane. Not bestiary. You buffoon. Items. Smiling clay bat. Smiling clay bat. Uh, not in my immediate vicinity. Smiling... Clay bat. Always fun! Smiling clay bat. I have found it. But I also want this bug for some reason. What money we have? 151? 22? Like, it's barely worth a pile of gold. So not worth it to 
chase them down. Smiling clay bat goes into my pocket. All right, get to the exit. Get out of here. What? <laughs> I almost have a conniption there. I almost th freaking throw up in my mouth. Getting through there. So anyway, I still want this sword. And I am willing. I'm ready and willing to take the time to go and give it to Grunk. What's the worst that can happen? I have eight ropes and the will to make this happen. I think this is open. Yeah, look at me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he's, he's coming. He's coming with me. What a team player. How dare you? How dare you murder? How dare you murder my slave? Oh! Don't worry. A proper burial shall be given to you. In my belly. Well, that is upsetting, but what are you going to do about it? It would have been nice to have the sword going forward. It's so nice to eliminate all the filth in my path. All right, buddy. Let's carry you to a safe spot. Actually, the, this spot up here is super safe. It's very nice. The sword would have been so nice to kill this scum lord right here. Obviously, let's put him... Like, this should be safe. This spot should be pretty safe. Cue his dying to a shotgun pellet. Five minutes from now. We partake of the feast. We grab the idol. And there was the optimal way to... I have never actually put any thought into... Hey, what's the optimal way to rob this place? Never actually tried. I'm sure there is a surefire way to get it done. The exit. Ow. You know, you put a bomb in this guy's mouth. You get the shotgun and you are able to do everything you want. Ow. This is a rope here. What a pain. What a pain. This entire place is just a nightmare. It's awful. Alright, so I want to put a bomb in his mouth, alright? Will this work? No, they don't. No, they no longer do that. <laughs> I was hoping to cascade a bomb. Ah, come on. I think he's dead. Yeah. For some reason, I, uh, you know, I've been playing HD too long. Is the problem? Cascading bombs, not a thing in Spelunky 2, and that is a shame. That's a hell of a shame. Really not pleased with that. What the? <laughs> get destroyed. Uh, let me get rid of this. This is a nightmare. It needs to go. All right, there you go. All right, so we have two and a half minutes for this situation to resolve itself. And it's all a matter of just spamming in and out. Like I do every night. Am I, fe am I right, fellas? Nothing? No, no, nobody wants to come and haunt me? Yup, yup. It's a bad idea to go fishing for victims. Always watching right below me. I'm watching so I can do one of these. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, get destroyed by my spike shoes, you little bitch. Okay, that should be under control. We still shoot, though, because there could be somebody coming up the ladder. Okay, it's all good. We go down, we start and keep shooting. Trust not the unknown. Okay, good stuff. Awesome. I think I had time to get one of these done. Or actually no. You know what? Don't don't get fooled by doing such things. We have very limited time to get everything ready. Only have four bombs too. This is a, a bad spot to be in. 
We'll do it like this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it one bit. Oh, it's all gonna be fine. Yeah, what we want is to get, of course, the ghost from that side. We get all the money ghosted in that corner. No, you idiot! Ah! <laughs> that upsets me so much! Oh, I'm so mad. Ow. So freaking mad, man. Uh, get rid of this shotgun. We need 30 seconds to grab... This is something I didn't think about. Grab this piece of scum. Quick, 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 but not too quick. <laughs> he turned away, so he I would my butt will get shot. No! Oh! <laughs> I am losing the opportunity! I hate you so much. Okay, the ghost is here. Why though? <laughs> I knew it. I knew I would put myself in the stupidest danger possible to get this done. I'm going to do it. I need to get used to this entire ordeal. It needs to happen. And now it's basically impossible, right? To get this ghost where I want it to be to be able to ghost this. So we just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll learn this lesson, maybe not. Either way, this is what has happened. Okay, bud. Please don't split. Whatever you do, don't split. This is not fall damage. What the? <laughs> don't worry. We're fine. We are fine! It's all good. Just making it interesting. It's all that's happening here. We still have a clone gun. We still have this monster. What is happening? What? Stop bouncing like an idiot. All right, it's all good. <laughs> still have a clone gun happening. Still have the Kapala. We really could have used those wings, though. Uh, yeah, the, the added wrinkle of ghosting that giant vault is a massive pain in the ass. Uh, I think the mistake, the big mistake, was not getting this piece of trash to the exit in a timely manner. That's what really flustered me for the entire experience. So, you know, just learning for the future. Let me get a, a nice gulp of water while this entire cutscene happens. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go! Let's get ourselves into the mindset. We may have been set back by foolishness. Oh, I'm glad that you were there to give me a little bit of blood. Is there a reason why I always blow up that spawn? I don't really know. The only one you need to blow up is, is this one. Oh, I hate that this guy's still alive, though. That's a problem. That's a real problem. Oh. Give me the blood, though. I mean, it's not a super problem. It's, it's just a mild problem. I really should let him come back to life on that way. It gives me extra health. Well, we got ourselves a cape. Isn't that just grand? <laughs> Isn't that just amazing? And I have... I don't even have spring shoes, man. It's just awful. I need to use a rope to get this arrow. I don't know if I've ever been in that situation where I need to use a rope to get the arrow. Absolutely outrageous. All right, give me... Wow, wow, what a fortuitous godsend. Absolutely amazing. Give me a little bit of blood here and there. 